just in the last five or six days, we've gotten another big flurry of drift calls, uh, primarily from West Tennessee, though a few now in Middle Tennessee as well. And uh, just a couple days ago, I went out and looked at some of these fields. Um, I looked at about 18 different fields. Uh, about a dozen of them I had looked at five to six weeks ago where they'd been drifted on the first time. So a number of these fields had been drifted on for, for a second time. And that's really disappointing on, on two fronts. Um, first, a lot of these applications that I went and looked at that, would have, uh, that caused the exposure to uh, the non-extend uh, soybeans uh, would have been put on after the Tennessee Department of Ag's new rules that were designed to help mitigate this. And so it kind of suggests that um, it, you know, at, at best it's just mitigating it a little bit. We're still seeing quite a bit of drift throughout a lot of the state, unfortunately. Really disappointing there. Um, and disappointing really on a second point because these late drift are, are most prone or most probable to give us yield loss, particularly these double exposures. Uh, a lot of the stuff we had, a lot of the drift issues we had early, we've had great growing conditions, the soybeans have really grown out of it, and now to get hit with a second drift event is really put some in jeopardy as far as some yield loss. The question is how much yield loss? And some work done at the University of Arkansas would suggest, and somewhat depends on the rate, uh, but if you look at um, a fairly low, low rate, which is what we assume with a drift event, like one two hundred fifty sixth of the half pound rate, uh, you're seeing roughly 10% yield loss if they get drifted on or exposed to dicamba in that R1, R2 uh, growth stage. So, and right where a lot of these beans were, unfortunately, in the full flower. Uh, as you start getting into later growth stages, well, in the pod field, it becomes less. But uh, that R1, R2 is when you really want to avoid it. What about these ones that have been hit for the second time? Well, we, there's no data on it because nobody even thought to look for it. Uh, but last year, we had a few fields get hit two times. And just anecdotally from the, what the farmers were telling me, they were seeing anywhere from 20 to maybe 30% yield reduction in some of those cases. Again, all this is really predicated on what happens from here going forward. If, if we have really good growing conditions throughout August, uh, this yield loss will likely be less. If it turns off hot and dry, it, it very well could be a little more. From this whole um, dicamba drift uh, issue we're seeing this year, I think two things have really come to the fore, two, two real facts. Number one is weed control has been very good uh, with this system, and we've had some of the best, just driving across the state, best weed control we probably had in, in 10 or 12 years. Uh, on the negative side, though, is most, most applicators uh, clearly are really struggling to corral dicamba into the field and keep it from drifting on their neighbors.